in this video i'm going to be showing you how to add um, products um, on your e-commerce website so um, this is the front page of the website as you can see we already have a couple of products here these are the categories i'm going to show you how to add an item or a product on the website so let's get started first things first you need to um, download the product i have a couple of products here that i'm adding so um, i want to add a new one which is this one it's in carrot gold plated cross pendant so what i will do is i will copy the description of the product right here and paste it into a notepad and um, i need to download the images for the product so i'll download the zip file like that i will just go to my zip and um, assess where the product is i think this was the last product i downloaded and um, i'll put in the folder so this is the product right here they are zipped so i want to, I want to unzip the product so i'll just cut and paste it into a folder I have created for all the products I'm listing on the website so you can see these are the products I've listed already so um, I'm just going to paste the zip folder into this folder and extract the zip file I'll paste the zip file into this folder and extract the zip file like this extract here so I have the products here so I'm going to name this folder I'm working with the name of the product just like that okay uh, I will delete the zip file I'm going to save this also this um, description into the folder that we just created of the product and um, I'll name it like that okay so uh, right now we have our product here if you check these are dependents we're trying to um, upload on the website you can see this is like just this images like 1 MB, 1.99 MB, the resolution it's quite very high, yes. So um, we need to shrink this image because it's too it, this is too heavy. This other one is also like 2 MB. To upload this um product in this format, it will make your website to make the website slow. So you need to change the format to the format the website accepts, right? So you can see these images on the website already has a format. Let me show you. You can see um this format, this square format. You get it so um i need to upload the images in that format so i'm using photoshop to edit the images okay so i will just copy i'll just drag the image like this into photoshop right here and um, resize the image so it looks bolder on the website and um, i will centralize it like this yeah, you could even brighten the image a bit. Uh, let me level the image. Let me give it a little brighten color. Okay. Yeah. I think that's okay. Then I will save the image with the name of the product we get into the folder. So let's find the folder. This is the cross pendant. I could name it cross pendant. Uh, I use JPEG format and um, have saved the image. Just like that you can see now the two one mb image is now 181 kilobytes it still it still preserves the quality of the image nothing um has changed so um i need to do the same thing for the second image so I'm, I'm the, the resolution i'm using for this um, edit on photoshop is 800 by 800 if you check it here you'll find the canvas here uh, to show you by pixel this is 800 by 800 the width 800 the height 800 so and that's the resolution i'm using for the images on the website so now we have the product and we have um, the description of the product which is this right here so we need to upload this on the website you need to go to the back end of your website if you're using a wordpress website you need to have access to the back end and um um to access your back end of your website you need to like put a slash wp dash admin right here to access the back end of your website i already have logged in already so just input your username and your password 
and um, it will give you access to the back end of the website this is where the design happens so you want to locate this place here WooCommerce and come down to uh, uh, product right here so you add new that's how you add a new product on the website okay so um, right now we'll just paste the description of the product right here and copy um, the title of the product or the, the name of the product and paste it into product name it's in carat gold plated um, cross pendant then I would um, size I'll just um, let me arrange them a bit put the price of this and um, I'll bolden this one, bolden this one, color, gold, change this to cap, okay, and um, medium, change it to cap also, alright, so I have this, I bolden this once, then I would bullet, create a bullet for them, like that I'll bullet the items okay that easy so now we have the title and we have the description of the product right here so um, the category of the product is uh, pendant so I'll pick pendant here uh, you can create it if you have not created a category you can just click here to create a new category for the product you're listing it helps structures your product okay so um, the next thing we want to do is product tags product tags are like keywords that you know people will use to search for that product so we will create a product um, tag for this one uh, one of the product tag is cross pendant you put a comma you put another product tag for such as pendant uh, something else somebody could search uh, somebody could search good plated pendant Okay, so just find keywords, relevant keywords you know people would use to look for that product online and um, put them here at product tab. So we have the product tab and um, the product image right here. You can see here we could just find the product image and upload the image for the product. So uh, I'll just navigate to the folder for this product right here and i'll put this one as the product image and um, i'll use an alt text gold pleated cross pendant as the alt text for the image like this and uh, also i'll come to product gallery like if you have different um dimensions of the image of the product you could use the, all of them here so i just have one i would use this other one here at um, one of the product gallery and i will add the same alt text okay so that has been added so now we need to add more um, information for this product like the price so this product is going for 3800 um, naira so i just put 3800 naira here inventory inventory allows you to um, keep stock of all the products you have in your store so right here you could just name um, this is like a product id so i'm using the initials of the website or the brand which is um, eb AO and um, this uh, this allows me to know what number of products um, every product has an ID so if I refresh and you see all the products here they all have IDs it helps me you see the last one I added was EBAO85 so this one is going to be EBAO86 right now so um, manage stock if you have a particular if you have a particular number for that item you can list them here so as people order um you know when to restock so when you have two stocks left or two products left it's going to give you a notification telling you you need to restock right so right now i'm going to add like 90 for this product then product attributes 
here you could give the product attribute like the color the size dimensions and everything brand of the product so right now the color of this product is um, gold color so i will pick gold right here gold and um, i will save the attribute you can create a new attribute by um, um creating adding it here so uh the next thing you want to do now i want to add them um, the size which is medium medium okay so that has been added we need to create a product short description um so uh we can just use this one right here i can just copy this one and um paste here and uh let's see we can see it's hardcore stainless steel like this stainless steel 18 karat gold pleated cross pendant on sale for um, this amount that's what we can use we can use that for description you could put a short description that is going to show up at the top just after the product um, image I will show you when we finish adding this high speed to show up in the front page of the website so let's copy this and add this um, right here okay so we have um, the short product description so and um, what else let me see um, for the settings for this website I'm using a, a particular team for this design so um, you could just um, play around with these settings right but for me here the only thing i need to add here is just this side but you might not see these settings depending on the um, team you're using for your website design but for this one if i i use most mostly um for the layout um layout and sidebar i use the right sidebar and also um this wool product sidebar okay so uh basically that is it for me here i think we've added most of the things we need to add on the website for this product and um so you could just at this point click publish and let's view the product to see how it looks like on the website okay so 18 card gold plated cross pendant this is the product we just added right now you could see um, this is the featured image of the product you could actually search and um, it allows you to um, have a view of the product you see the price all the um, features you listed about the product and um, if you want to check that this for the um, image gallery for the product you could put the other images so that's how easy it is to add a product on your e-commerce or your woocommerce website Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful and you would want other great videos on tech, growing your business and making more money online, subscribe to our channel at Brit School and click the bell notification icon so you can stay updated on upcoming videos. You can also connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and LinkedIn at Brit School or visit us at BritSchool.com. Have a great time and keep smashing it. Bye.